Good evening and welcome back once again. If you joined us last time, we had a 3-1 win at home to the Real B team. And this week, we're away to Mirandes. Let's jump into the team lineups. We've had to make a few changes, mainly because of fatigue. As you can see, we've brought in Rice in defensive midfield, Harrington where Herrera normally plays, and we've made some changes at the wing backs too. Hopefully that won't make too much of a difference in terms of our chances of winning, but we'll jump into the match to find out. Back again, away this time to Mirandes. Let's hope it's a good game with plenty of action and goals. And including this game, there's only two matches left in December. So getting towards that January transfer window, there will be a lot of players going that we've already actually agreed to uh, to transfer. So our squad's going to be quite thin on the ground. We might have to make some youth team signings because we're not going to have a lot of budget, at least uh, salary-wise. And the youth team players are a little bit, well, a lot cheaper to, to sign Say the average sort of youth team players, what say around about a hundred, hundred grand salary, maybe a little bit more, like one hundred and forty sometimes. But if you hang on, here's Vieira. Ah, it's blocked. If you go for like a signing in the market, you know you're looking at a million, probably minimum, for a decent player. So there's a big difference. So you've just got to balance it out. Good tackle there on Aviera. you got to remember, like, a lot of the players that we are selling, a lot of them have never really got a game. There's the odd one that has. Especially Mihailov. He's obviously... Ooh, chance. Oh, somehow he kept that out. Cirque with the first chance of the match. Really nice ball from Harrington here. And Argos, a nice ball across. Yeah, nicely saved. Should be a corner. And it is, and we will certainly have Fabio Vieira take this. Oh. Just did not have the power, but um, decent chance there. Here's Vieira. Uh, not enough space really for Hunt to have a shot. Just keep the ball moving. Ah, nice effort, but uh, just a bit of miscommunication. God, I can't even say that word. Miscommunication between Perez and Xerxes there. Quickly taken. Here's Vieira. Sixy, 1-0. And Harrington gets the assist. Really nice work from the throw in. Very quickly taken. Yeah, see Vieira. Harrington just on side. Nice little layoff and a simple finish from Xerxes. Really love to see the likes of Harrington, Castledean. Bajer has already been on great form, but the likes of these younger players that we've brought through or that started in the default squad that we want to keep, want to see them maybe make a breakthrough. I can't, um, you know, rely on the players that we've signed the likes of Vieira and Xerxes all of the time. Here is Vieira. Vieira, ah, uh, just couldn't get quite get the power. It's on target though. Dominating the match so far. Again, they look a little bit sloppy at the back sometimes. And I've won it here. A little bit unlucky that I couldn't uh, take clean. Here's Carlos Perez. A 2 0. And Xerxes with the assist this time. Nicely played, but. Like, like I just said before we won the ball back, they've been a bit sloppy. They nearly give a throw away, but they've, they've got it back and then they're just winning on the ball. Nice little pass from Xerxes, cut inside from Perez and a nice finish. That R2 finish, the finesse finish, uh, 
weekend. I know some comments from um, one of my regular subscribers told me to, to use that many times on PES 6 and I, I kept failing to do it. It's a slightly different mechanic in PES 6 than the, the modern version of PES. So I'm a little bit more accustomed to use it in this game and it works very well. Oh, and Xerxes free here. Oof. I, f I could have taken a touch, taken it on, but I just fancied a crack at it straight away and it nearly worked. Lovely ball from Harrington. He's playing really well. Nice ball to Xerxes. Oh, nicely saved from the keeper there. He just kept it out. was behind him. It looked uh, a bit similar to, I can't remember which team it was against, but I remember David Seaman making a, a save like that in the FA Cup years and years ago. The ball was behind him. Maybe not quite as good as that, but it was pretty decent. I mean, this game's uh, save wasn't quite good as David Seaman's. David Seaman's goal was ridiculous. It was way behind him. It was practically on the line when he saved it. Oh, nearly through. Again, they can't keep it. And here's Rice. Harrington. Oh, he's offside. Ah, I took the risk. I thought he might have been. It was a nice finish. Whether the keeper would have saved it if I hadn't been there. Uh, if I hadn't whistled, I'm not sure. Look at that. Harrington, 68 metres dribbled. More than double of anyone else. It's been a few days since I played the game actually. Um I do tend to play in, in sort of chunks or batches. I'm not sort of like a regular player such um Oh gets it back Harrington and there he goes, gets the goal he deserves. He was a little bit well not unlucky, but he had the offside obviously before, which potentially could have been a goal. Get a little bit fortunate here. He actually loses it. Argos plays him in. He just has a poor touch. But then Vieira gets it back. Lovely pass. Lovely weight. And Harriton's in there. So we certainly haven't missed Herrera in this game. Yeah, lovely. Lovely little finish. I mean, he's looking like man of the match so far. See, there's still more than half the game to go, but it's going to take some effort to to be a showing so far. I think Vieira's been really good as well. Vieira's uh, had some lovely play. Obviously, got an assist there, but just in general, he's been sort of probably the next best to to Harrington. Carlos Perez, Vieira, oh wide. Harrington again. Nicely played though. Oh, just wide. He is on fire today. There's been a few times where I've played him and he just... Okay, mainly it's been as a sub and he just hasn't quite done it. But today he's just been... He hasn't really put a foot wrong. That's a free kick. Definitely the last chance of the half here. Just want to keep it tight. They haven't been in the game. We don't want to let anything sloppy away. Just clear it. There we go. Half time. Absolutely brilliant. Just looking at the stats. Possession wise. Yep. 54%. Pretty good. Definitely not our most dominant performance in terms of possession itself. But in terms of attack and threat. That actual possession in the final third I think has been the key. 10 shots, 7 on target, 3 nil. could have been 4 or 5 easily. Got to remember that Xerxes had a goal and an assist as well. So, he would potentially put him in the reckoning for man of the match, just by sort of stats alone. Nicely played there. Xerxes, oh my word. What a finish that was. But Harrington got an assist as well. 
Do you know what? I think just because Xerxes scored two, he might end up getting man of the match just because it does tend to heavily weigh on, on goals. Nice little one-two, but look at the first touch from Xerxes. He lifts it up and slots it in there. That's, I think on this game, it's when you... I've done it before. You can purposely lift the ball up just by kind of using the sprint button just as you're about to take it. And if you time it right, it pops up and... You do exactly what I just did there. But yeah, this is... Um, I think this is our best performance in PES 21 so far. Um, not just the score, but we're just dominating. I don't know, we're just playing so well. The finishing as well has just been... Here's Ixi. Oh, get lucky again. Yeah, we nearly got lucky. We've had that. We've had a not luck, but we've had a little bit of the run of the green, rub of the green, rather, um, which does help. Not massively, just little things maybe going our way. Oh my words! And it's five. This time, Perez and Zuxi getting an assist. Wow. What is going on here? Harrington again, running with the ball. 60 assists, but look at that drag back from Perez there. Just watch here. Drags it back and curls it round. I think what's making the difference is the speed that we're playing with it. You know, we're, we're running out of defence, but then we're playing passes quickly. We're not dwelling on the ball. We're not tr trying to be too intricate. Which I think we've definitely been guilty of in some matches. Just trying to overplay it almost. Here's Harrington again. And Zuxi. Oh my god. What is going on? Oh, he's got his hat trick. Um, and Harrington again getting an assist. I don't, know, I don't know how to call who's going to get him out of the match. I think it's going to be Zuxi just for the hat trick. But nice little ball. But look at the touch. Just curl around the keeper. Considering this is my first match on, on the game in... Ooh, I don't know, it's a good few days that I've, uh, that I've been on it. I haven't been on it rather. Right, we're going to make some changes. Okay, so we've brought on Mihailov, potentially for his last game. On for Xerxes, bought on Bjer in place of Fabio Vieira, even though he's on a bit of a down. And we're brought on Castaldine for Carlos Perez. Well, we're going to bring off Harrington because he is um, looking a little bit tired, but he probably won't play the next match. So we we'll just kind of want to make the most of it, keep him on. And um, you never know, he might get another assist or goal. Fantastic job from, from everyone. So... <laughs> I think the only players that aren't really going to get good ratings is going to be the goalkeeper and our defenders because they've had nothing to do and little time on the ball. Bajer getting in straight in the action. Here's Castledine, one of the other players that would like to uh, certainly get involved a little bit more. You probably have to with our squad now. Ocas just keeps it there. Now Harrington. Harrington. Oh, just wide. Just wide. Yeah, nice little cut inside there. Probably not as near as maybe I thought. It's a couple of foot wide, but really nice effort. Just really nicely played in midfield. They're just ticking over. Hocus hasn't been too involved. He's probably one of the only ones, really, that uh, if any of the attacking players on midfield, he's the only one that hasn't been involved too much. Mihailov. Ah, good defending. He just got a block in there. Go 
God only knows what their ratings are going to be. Not going to be good. Bouger, who's been one of our top performers, if not the top performer of the year. Oof, haven't done with a shot there. Decent strike. He is uh, a little bit on his, out on his legs at the moment. Nice to play by Bouger. You know, Rice has been pretty decent. Uh, I don't mean in this game in particular, but in general, Rice has been good com compared to some of the other sort of default plays that we had. Arlington again. Oh, straight at the keeper. But again, not the best shot, but it was on target. You know, it's the right thing to do. Good crunch and tackle from the defence there. We get a little bit lucky. And Harrington plays a nice ball through. Oh, maybe just over hit. And Caulfield that was in there. He's not the quickest, really. That's a poor ball. Pile of is never going to get onto that. Nice to play there. Yeah, and I forgot we actually had uh, Geisler in, in goal um, to give Schubert a bit of a rest. It'll be his last match as well today. I know there's one match left, but he's, he definitely won't be playing in the next one. Oh, nice tackle there. Probably the first time Houghton's uh, lost out completely. Nicely played to Rice. Now Boucher. Back to Rice. Well blocked. Got a corner. This will be the last attack of the half. Uh, the game even. And that should be it. I was going for lucky number seven. But it six will do. Fantastic match. I'm calling Xerxes is probably going to be man of the match, but I think it should be Harrington. And stats-wise, a massive jump up in possession from the first half, 63% overall. So in, in that second half, we must have been, what, close to 70% in that second half alone? Wow. Look at that rating from Xerxes, a 9 in, in Pez, that is extremely rare. I've had nines before, very, very rarely. Fives all around for the uh, the subs, which is fair enough. You know, they didn't really, when they came on, it was more just keeping the ball, things like that. But Harrington, 6.5. How has he got a 6.5? I don't understand that. Just an absolutely brilliant performance. Lots of goals, great goals as well. Just looking at the table now, we're actually nine points clear of Levante. And our goal difference has shot up as well. Look at that, 29 plus goal difference. That's it for this week, guys. Absolutely brilliant game. I hope you did enjoy that. I certainly enjoyed playing it. Next time we're at home to Sport and to Gijon, who are currently in third place. So that should be a bit more of a tougher challenge than today. Hopefully you can join me for that one. Drop a like down below. Think about subscribing if you can. But I'd love you to leave some comments as well. So like that interaction with you guys. Got a few people that regularly comment on, well, at least on the Pez 6 videos when I was recording those. And join me next time, hopefully, for plenty more goals. Cheers.